So the storm has begun. You can, can't even really make out Diamond Head. Just barely. I really feel for the people on the other side of the island with the city nest like this down here. Um, since that's where the storm is coming in from on the, the uh, windward side of the island over Kaneohe side. Here's the view from our roof today. Looks kind of icky, huh? That's over where I live, that way. And it rained all night last night. Every time I woke up, I could hear it just pouring. Let me take you down and show you the canal. Hi there. <laughs> but you can see the can um, down the over the ocean, it's not too bad. And that's because the storm is coming in from the other side of the island. And so this way, that is where the storm is coming in. And so Kaneohe is back over that way. Actually, it's kind of over that way, but um, that's kind of where the brunt of the storm should be coming in. I'm going to try and pay attention to the news a little bit later and see how they're faring. Um, and I'll let you know. <laughs> Bye. Aloha. I'm going to try this. I don't know how the light's going to be. Um, it's definitely diffused today. <laughs> Uh, but the storm has hit. Um, I understand it hit, it, it made landfall on Maui and where else was it? Lanai, um, just like an hour or two ago. So, um, this is much worse rain than we got, even with, um, here, that's a little bit better, even with Lane that was uh, more of a hurricane, but Lane did not come this close. To us so you know and here Maui's getting double dumped Maui and the Big Island you know they got the brunt of Lane when it came through and now they're getting it again so and they're getting they said they're getting as much rain now as they did when Lane came through which was horrendous um, it was something like 18 inches or oh maybe I'm reading that wrong or remembering that wrong I'll have to double check the numbers but it was a lot of rain and there were, you know, pictures of just mass rivers that shouldn't be there and oh God, it was bad. So I can imagine what it's like now. Um, right now, my lovely vista out the window is pretty much not there. It's just, the rain is coming down so bad and it's so overcast and cloudy that you can't even see the hills um, so but I wanted and I'm hand holding my camera I forgot to bring my tripod over with me so I I don't have that um, but I wanted to talk about my hair today because when you go through chemo and they say you'll lose your hair and they they say with a lot of people it comes back in curly yeah. Now my hair naturally is kind of somewhere between a wavy and a loose curl. I mean it's not like Shirley Temple curls but it's it's never been this curly although in the back I'll see if I can get a picture of it in the back. The back is about the same but this this is new. I, it doesn't even lay flat and I'm just starting to pull it down for bangs because I've always had bangs and I like my bangs but uh, this is just like wow this is insane and it's still I mean I don't think it's even an inch long it you know up on top it's just so slow growing I can't get over it um, you know, and I don't know, you know, what can you do to make hair grow? There's not a whole lot. Um, I have tried biotin in the past, but it tends to kind of have a reverse effect on me where my nails start, um, getting bad and falling off. You know, they, they, they get thin and brittle 
and they start peeling and uh, so I just don't even try anymore um, right now my nails are in pretty good condition except I have to do them myself now I can't go to the my nail academy my Honolulu nail academy so um, but I did have one, I am gonna trade hands and see if I can do this, not too bad. I chewed it down, I got like really anxious one night and just started chewing on it. So it's way, way down. And so I chopped them all down and it's another short, especially that one. <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep clear you know, light tone polish on it until I can grow it out a little bit and it's not so obvious that how short it is. <sighs> Boy, I haven't done that in a long time. That's how stressful it's been. Um, you know, not much else going on. I just, you know, it just really amazes me, the curl in my hair. Um, you know, it's like, ugh, this is really going to age me because it's even older than I am. But the poodle cuts from the 50s, um, that's what it's like. I mean, if, you know, I'm an old movie buff. I, I sit around, you know, I miss having the movie channel. Um, but, you know, sitting around and watching old movies, the old black and whites, and Kim Novak and her poodle cut, that's what it reminds me of. And I don't even have to curl it. I, it's just there. Um, although I want my bangs longer. <laughs> I keep, and I've always had this weird curl in the front that I always, I typically have to straighten out and you can kind of see it's doing its weird thing over here. Uh, yeah. I wish it would get long. I, I I don't understand why it's not growing because I see pictures and posts from other people and it's like they're six months out of chemo and their hair is like down to here. And you know, here I am and I'm gonna, I am, I wanna say almost a year, but no, it's not really almost a year. Um, 10, let's see, Jan <gasps> I can't do math in my head anymore, oh my god, but it's been nine months since chemo, so, you know, why isn't any long, why isn't it any longer? <sighs> I don't know. And I did finally get an appointment with the, um, the MLD for the lymphedema. It's not until next week. And so after I go, I'll do an update and let you know what she says, what she does, everything. Um, I'm only semi hopeful at this point. I'm, I still do occasional searching online and still don't find anything. <sighs> I, I I swear I can't be the only, um, oh, in fact, my surgeon did call me one day and said he had two more patients that showed the same signs that I am, the, the lymphedema in the breast. It's like, he's never seen it before me, but all of a sudden he has two more. So is it something in the water here in Honolulu? I don't know. Uh, look at that shadow, God. I did order a ring light off of Wish, one of those little ones you just attach to the cell phone. I'm gonna see how that works. Um, I ordered a couple things off of Wish. <sighs> yes, my shopaholic is coming back. Um, but, you know, it's Wish. I ordered like 10 things and paid $20. You know, I did I even order 10 things? I don't know. But it was like, um, I ordered the ring light, I ordered a little lapel microphone, so I, maybe I can get the sound better, and maybe even record alternate sound to overplay. And I recorded a, or I, 
I ordered a um, amount for the phone in my car so I can do drive arounds and a little handheld um, tripod, one of those ones you can like twist and turn and put on things. And so that way I can have a, a tripod that I carry around with me. And um, then I got, I have a really good tripod at home, but it doesn't have the, the camera adapter on the top. So I ordered uh, two adapters, one for my actual camera and then one for the cell phone that ad attaches to that. Um, and I know I ordered something else. I can't think of what it was. Um, I don't know. But I'll show you these things as I get them. Um, just, I mean, I'll have to try everything out. So, you know, hopefully it'll make the videos better. And anyway, um, I'm going to keep working on my hair. <laughs> And I will update you on this weather if anything changes. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, look at this. I was on my way to the restroom and I looked through some glass doors of a vacant unit and saw nothing. <laughs> that is, this doesn't happen very often down here. So this is really amazing. This over here, this building, this is the Hawaii Convention Center. But you can't even see the hills anymore. So, wow. It, the sun is trying to kind of peek out up there, but yeah, I still haven't had time to go online and check out the weather to see what's happening on the other side of the island. I need to do that. <laughs>